Welcome back, guys. This is Lindsay with Garage Stream Reviews. Today, we are going to talk about the Soul TT8. This is a heavy duty commercial grade treadmill. And when I say commercial grade, like that's absolutely accurate because this is one of the first treadmills I've actually seen that you can use within like light commercial settings or in a home gym space. It really just depends on what you want to use it for, but no going into that. It will change the warranty if you decide to use it in a gym setting versus a home gym setting. So definitely we're going to talk about that. But first, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want to go ahead and purchase this, we place a link below the like button. When you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a small commission. And lastly, this is an honest review, but just for transparency, say it was sent to us by the company. However, that doesn't change anything I'm going to say about it. All right, so this treadmill is close to $3,000. This is one of the top tier treadmills that Soul has to offer. The only one comparing to this at this price point and actually is more expensive is the Soul ST90. Those are kind of their like top level treadmills. Do I think that this is worth almost that $3,000 mark? Are there better ones out there? I mean, I kind of think yes, but we are gonna get into the details of this. I actually love using the Soul FCC3. It's in my garage. Nathan here uses the Soul F85. He loves it. And so as like a company, as people who test treadmills a lot, I have found a lot to love about Soul, but honestly, like there are some big misses for me here on this treadmill. All right, let's talk about a couple of the positives first. One of the positives to this TTA is its user weight capacity. It is 400 pounds as its user weight capacity, which is far above industry standards at that 300 pounds allowing a lot of people to be able to use this another thing that i really like about this is it has a 15 percent incline as well as a six percent decline so if you are an avid runner if you are somebody wanting to run at you know high speeds do a lot of intervals do a lot of hill work i think this is a really good one to train on it comes with kind of that standard 12 mile per hour mark that we see a lot of treadmills offer in terms of speed i mean honestly if you are going to buy this treadmill it better go up to 12 miles per hour because again it is almost three thousand dollars another positive to the tta is the assembly guys this is like a super easy breezy assembly it took two people less than 30 minutes to assemble it from start to finish all they really had to do was attach the arms attach the screen you know tightens the nuts and the bolts and the screws and whatever you do to assemble something but overall like super easy assembly process if you are like me and just use the term nuts and bolts and screws and whatever you do and have really no idea how to assemble a machine like this you can go ahead and pay the $350 extra. When you do that, they'll have a team of assemblers come to your house, assemble it in your room of choice, and then also take away all of the trash. So there is nothing left but your assembled machine in the room you want. Now, one of the things that makes this treadmill so powerful is it has a 4.0 HP motor, but not only that, it actually has a 10 pound flywheel surrounding the motor. So this is like an ultra smooth machine. Not only is it ultra smooth, but I mean, it's really durable. It's gonna last you a very long time because of that high horsepower motor. But not only that, I mean, you can definitely push the limits to this so really i think the thing i'm getting at with this is like this is not for just your everyday casual runner this is definitely a machine for like somebody wanting to do a lot of speed work a lot of hills a lot of decline and have a motor be able to like keep up with that pace All right, so here is one minor kind of call out that I do have to this machine. It's the quick dial button. So like I mentioned earlier, it goes to 15% incline as well as negative 6% decline. Well, on the quick dial, it doesn't show that. It goes up to like 12% incline and then 4% decline. In order to reach that top incline or that bottom decline, you actually have to use the toggle on the side. The toggle function actually isn't my favorite. I mean, I'm used to like buttons on the side for whatever reason. I just don't like this toggle design as much, but that's absolutely like a personal preference of mine. Another thing to know is it has a 15.6 touchscreen. Now this isn't like an integrated technology. What you are gonna have to do is go ahead and use the mirror function. So download the Soul app if you wanna go ahead and use the Soul programming. It does come free with the purchase of the treadmill. But you're gonna have to connect that through Bluetooth and then go through the mirror function. It 
did take me a couple steps to figure out how to do that. So overall, it's not like Nordic Track. It's not like iFit where the iFit programming is literally in the machine and it will like auto change or it has auto trader control where essentially like the class that you take, the instructor will go ahead and just like tell your machine what incline or like what speed to go at. You are gonna have to manually do that yourself. The other thing with the programming is they were kind of inconsistent. So one instructor would be like super loud and I could hear them clearly and the other instructor was just like overwhelmingly quiet and I almost like missed the call out. So just overall, just not my favorite programming and not my favorite design on how the quick jump buttons work as well as kind of the toggle mechanism. If you decide that you don't want to use the sole programming, this treadmill does come with 10 pre-programmed like programs on the machine you can take. They have hill, they have interval, they have speed play, they have calories burned. So there's a lot to choose from, but they are kind of like your standard pre-programmed treadmill workouts. Now, in terms of the deck itself, it is a 22 by 60 inch belt deck. It says that it has like whisper deck cushioning. I just kind of disagree with that. I don't mind a non-cushioned deck. It actually reminded me very much of the Soul F63 deck that I have and I run on frequently at home. But if you are looking for an ultra cushion deck, I don't think this is it. I mean, truth be told, I just ended up running on the Proform Pro 2000 not too long ago. And that was one of the better cushion deck that I had seen recently. So this one does fall short for me. Overwhelmingly online customer reviews were positive. The two callouts that most people had were one, the quick dial buttons, which we had already talked about, and then two, kind of the hood at the front of this treadmill. It does sit up kind of higher off the ground, and a lot of people said that when they were running, that their foot would actually hit that hood. And I thought, oh, well, that's probably just because they have a bigger stride, so maybe I'll call that out. But I ended up running on it the other day, and I don't think that I have like this enormously long stride. And I ended up hitting that hood a couple times. So that's definitely something to be aware of. It wasn't like a deal breaker in my mind, but it was just annoying. Now, another thing to note about this, guys, this is a incredibly heavy machine. It's actually as heavy as the ST90, although I'm having like a hard time wrapping my brain around that. This weight is listed as 326 pounds, which is very similar to what the ST90 weight is listed at. However, I cannot move the ST90 the way that the weight is distributed among the treadmill. I can, however, move this, although it was not easy. It does have like a small handlebar underneath the treadmill that you can kind of grab. But overall, I do wish that there was like an actual handlebar or some easier way to grab onto the treadmill if you are going to move it around. It's also not a foldable design, so it is going to take up a larger area. So just remember like wherever you decide to keep this treadmill is probably where you do want to keep it because this is not one that's like ultra portable or something you're going to be wanting to move around a lot. Okay, I briefly just kind of want to mention the Nordtrek X22i is around the same cost as this sole treadmill. It has so many similar specs about it. I mean, they have the same horsepower size. They both have a decline. They both have an incline. However, the X22i goes up to a 40% incline and it has integrated iFit programming within the screen that's a 22 inch touch screen, whereas this is the mirror function and then also a 15.6 inch touch screen. So overall, like I do like this treadmill, but I probably probably wouldn't spend the $3,000 on it if I'm a serious runner. Like if I am a serious runner, I'm probably gonna go with the X22i based on the fact that it has a higher incline and as well as programming built into it. But that is just my opinion. Let us know what you think about this treadmill in the comments. Do you think it's worth that almost $3,000 mark? Have you tried it out? We'd love to hear from you. This has been Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews. Peace.